Well, retirement. It used to be a gold watch at age 65 and then out to pasture to spend at leisure however many years remained. Not necessarily the case anymore. For a growing number of people, retirement is the opportunity to start a new career. Mark Picard met a North Georgia couple who traded business travel and meetings for laundry and leaky toilets and is loving it. There are days when we start out cooking breakfast at 5.30 in the morning and we don't finish washing dishes from a gourmet wine dinner until 10.30 or 11 at night. Retirees David and Gail Darrow often work as hard now as they ever did during their official careers. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. You know, what we do is fun for us. What they do is run the Beachwood Inn in Clayton, Georgia. The colors are in TJ Wickham. I was working about 80 hours a week just running all over the state and uh, uh, working in communities. Trained as an anthropologist, Gail Dara ended up organizing the Relay for Life for the American Cancer Society in Georgia. David was an attorney for the U.S. Energy Department at the Savannah River plant. Intense job. It had a lot of pressure to it from the community, from the region, from the national, and of course after 9-11, uh, international security issues as well. To get away from the pressure, the Daras would come to Rabin County to hike the mountain trails. At the same time that Dave and Gail Dara had about had it with their careers, this place, the Beachwood Inn, was for sale. The timing and the opportunity were perfect. They bought the inn but kept working until shortly after 9-11, when David was called to Washington for a top-level security meeting. I was thinking, man, I wish this meeting would end because i got to get on a plane, fly back to Augusta, get in my car, drive all the way back up to Clayton, and fix the flapper valve in the Savannah Suite. When flapper valves trumped national security, David and Gail knew it was time to move on. We've got the grilled marinated pork tenderloin, and that's got the wild mushrooms and the Cabernet reduction sauce. The Darras used their love of food and wine and people to turn a run-down country inn into one of the top B&Bs in America. Baby boomers, they realize that um, you don't die at age 30. You have a whole series really of skill sets that you can apply to something new and it keeps you vigorous, it keeps you stimulated, and it keeps you contributing. They've put a new spin on the words workaholic and multitasking. This is eggs benedict and hash brown casserole. And given new meaning to the word retirement. Mark Picard, 11 Alive News. Boy, you can tell it'd be a lot of work to own one of those. In fact, the average length of time that people own an inn is three years. The Darras have owned the Beachwood Inn for six, and they're going to keep doing it for as long as they're able.